So it's been a really long time since I last played Kingdoms of Amalar. Ooh. But I was looking for something to scratch a similar itch, right? Like I just want to go inside of a dungeon, kill monsters, get loot, rinse and repeat them. But I did not want it to be isometric. I wanted it to be third person, right? So enter Dungeons of Sundaria. So as soon as you start the game off, you're in character creation. You got champion, cleric, ranger, rogue, and wizard. As far as the races, you have human, dwarf, which I'm probably going to be, elf, halfling, orc. <laughs> um, we have goblin, and then we have... Some type of lizard guy called a drogal. So clearly the graphics are a little bit dated, but you know what, for what I'm looking for, um, I'm not too concerned about the graphics, right? So let me go ahead and create my character real quick. The tallest dwarven female cleric that I can make, baby. Let's go ahead and jump in is FG, bruh. All right, so here's the campaign stage. You have multiple different biomes of different levels, um, but the one that you should start off with is gonna be the Crypt of Horrors, level one recommended, sounds good. All right, so here I am, and you know what? The graphics, once you get inside the game, actually don't look that bad. They look really kind of bad in the uh, character select screen, but they don't look too bad once you're actually in game. <laughs> and, and so far, dude, this is like exactly what I was looking for. Kind of like, once again, if you ever played Kingdoms of Amalar, it was kind of like a, a single player MMO type of vibe. And this is kind of what this feels like already. Oh, there's a camp over there, dude. Let me go check that camp out. Okay, so the camp is just a training area. So let me check out my abilities here. On my left click, I basically have like a range smite ability. Very cool. On my one, kind of like another range attack. This looks like some type of buff. So it looks like I have two different buffs and then a couple of different damage abilities. Got it. Dude, this is giving me such old school MMO vibes. You got this little camp over here. <laughs> And the loot button is the right button, which is F. All right, so there's actual treasure in these chests, but you don't see them. You just see them in your uh, your little chat window. Okay. All right, so let me go ahead and equip this cape first and foremost. Every good MMO needs a good cape. Ooh, some World of Warcraft pauldrons. Those look nice. Dude, I'm looking good already. <laughs> so I switched out my mace for a little sword here. That looks cool. Okay, so I think this is the actual crypt in question. So let's see if we can come on in. Someone left it unlocked. Hey, oh, what's up, dude? <laughs> Alright, this is uh this is actually exactly what I was looking for. <laughs> this literally feels like playing an MMO that's like, I don't know, 10 years old and you're going through some of the early dungeons and there's no one else around. That's what it kind of feels like now. In an MMO, that kind of sucks. Um, because you want to be more social, but um, in a more streamlined experience, it's not bad, right? Already getting some upgrades here. So now I have a godly breastplate. We'll take that. I got some bracers. Everything shows up in your character so far. Some gloves, that shows up. Dude, if this is not one of the most perfect dwarven helmets of all time. <laughs> all right. I think I'm in a boss room, actually. So since I just got some new abilities, let me check them out. Um, so no valid targets found. Is that like a... I should have read the ability. I should have read it. <laughs> Oh, excuse me. Dude, this reminds me of that uh that one fight in uh World of Warcraft when you're in the Scarlet Monastery where the guy like summons a bunch of wolves, like almost like the same exact fight, right? Even towards the end when all these other ones spawn. <laughs> all right, let me go ahead and loot these uh, wolves of their silver because apparently they have part-time jobs as wolves do. And I got myself a big chest here. So this is how I feel like all the loot should be. Like it should pop up on the screen like that if it's blue or something, right? Okay, now I'm gonna switch to a mighty two-hander. See how I feel about this. Oh man, the swings though. The animation is not too bad. Like I feel like... The overall graphic style makes the game feel like it's going to be really kind of dated and janky. And, and let's be clear, it's a little janky, um, but it works the way you expect it to work, right? Um, I feel like maybe the impact on the enemies needs to be a little bit more pronounced. Like maybe like a different sound effect or something like that, but it's not bad. The abilities feel fine. Looks like a small bit of gamer mode is required. I got this. Here we go. Man, you know what? Forget this. I'm just going. <laughs> oh, well, that actually took a little bit of uh, HP away. Hey, dude. Fellow dwarf, where are you going? <laughs> Dude, it's been a long time since I played a game where the enemies run away when they get low. Okay, so this next area looks a little bit important and this is the first door I've had to open since I've been in here. Oh man, where is this blood flow? Oh, hey, <laughs> come on out. I'm pulling, I'm pulling. One shot, oh, this is another boss. Oh, look at this, it's like an ins, oh no, maybe not. 
Your secrets I must know. Enough. Now you die. So my strategy there was basically um, to circle strafe around the enemy and spam all my abilities. That, that was my strategy there. <laughs> all right, any loot? Oh, come, oh, this is yours. Anything good? Ooh. Bruh, have you ever seen a Dwarven Cleric dual wield two axes? <laughs> I love it. Oh, that wasn't the boss. Okay, so that was just a mid boss. This looks like a boss room for sure. Look at the circle. Of course it is. All right, let's go at it. But first, let me take off my helmet and my cloak, man. I want to look a little bit more cute. You know what I'm saying? Let's go. <laughs> more subjects for our lord. Let us see if they are worthy. Uh oh, what you up to there, buddy? Oh, look at me! I have to do something. Okay, very cool. I'm, I'm playing. I'm playing a raid. <laughs> Let me get, kill these ads first. Oh, dude, this is sad. So he's drawing his power from like these prisoners here, and sometimes I have to kill them to make him vulnerable again. That's kind of sad a little bit, but I gotta do what I gotta do, man, for the greater good. Taking out, taking out the ads, taking out the ads. Whoop! <laughs> Down go, oh, now all the ads come out. All right, so I thought you guys were prisoners. Y'all are just like in a cult, okay. <laughs> And just when you thought this dungeon was done, we're at the very, very bottom of it now in the sewer, fighting rats and zombies, as you do. Every good dungeon crawler needs a sewer level. Like, we all know that. Complete with some green poison ooze. Dude, there are some culty things going on here. And where's all this blood just dripping from nonstop? I'll loot this. I'll loot this. Now, as far as I can tell, and I hope this is the case, um, it almost feels like I have, like, an infinite inventory bag. Let me go ahead and check it out. Like, you have auto sort, and this is how much stuff I've looted thus far. I guess it's not infinite, but there's quite a few slots here. Hopefully that's enough. Good enemy variety as well, too. Like, we already have, like, some armored zombies here now. Not bad, man. Not bad. All right, so what the heck is this thing? Looks like he has some type of poison aura, so I'm going to go ahead and range him. Oh, it's a big... It's literally a rat king. <laughs> My strategy is as follows, circle strafe, spam skills. Down goes the Rat King. And just like all the bosses, after you kill the boss, here comes a bunch of like ads for some reason. <laughs> Dude, your boss just died. What 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 chance did you grunts have? You know what I'm saying? Where's your chest at? Ah, oh, right here. <laughs> Thank you. A little beacon of light. Dude, does this dungeon go even deeper? All right, so we started off in like a monastery, then we hit the sewer, and now we're in some underground cave with a blacksmith. Hey, dude, you cool? We cool? Hey, a place to sell stuff. Very cool. Dude, look at my boy's face. <laughs> look at this dude. All right, so decent quality of life here, right? Uh, so I can go ahead and select all my common gear, select and salvage that. There's 35 pieces of gear. Hit sort. Um, I guess what I'll go ahead and do, I'll go ahead and get rid of my green gear as well. That'll make it a lot easier to sort through my upgrades. All right, deeper into the abyss we go. So one thing I really like so far is that I really have like a feeling that I don't know, I hate to use the word immersion, but I feel really immersed in the world in the sense that I feel like I actually am really far underground from where I started. And that's like a really hard feeling to kind of portray in a game like this. And I, I feel like it's doing a pretty decent job. 
Oh no, dude, it's like a, a dwarven necromancer? Oh dude, I love it. Come here, dude. <laughs> oh no, it's a waifu. Oh no! <laughs> I don't think your legs are supposed to bend that way. Oh no! Okay, so we just opened this lever, so this is gonna open up the next section of this monastery, I guess. So we started off in the monastery, right? We went into the sewers, we went to like a dark cave. Ah, come on! Or is there another switch over here? We went to like a, a mine dark cave, and now we're back into the monastery. Kind of like the courtyard. Once again, giving me like such World of Warcraft vibes here. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh! Hey, you look like you're... You want this? <laughs> All right. Wee! Blink! <laughs> oh, it's another boss fight. Let's go. Ignore the tank. Ignore the tank. Go for the DPS. Holy crap, I'm taking some damage now. This guy right over here, man. Let me get rid of this DPS. Got a heal? Got a heal? Oh no! <laughs> the ads down? Oh, that was the boss. I thought that was the ad. another health potion too and I didn't even want to use it ah come on all right let me see how this works so I can respawn oh dude I'm not that far away do I have all my goodies and I got all my goodies what did I what did I lose I'm not sure if I lost anything hey guys ah no they're back <laughs> everyone's respawned all right I got this this time Pure gamer, you better respect it. Ah, oh, come on, guys. If I would have, I better not die to these freaking spectrals now. Oh, come on, they're too strong. <laughs> Please. Why are these spectral ghosts so strong? Their pets should die with the owner. <laughs> I'm kiting, I'm kiting. Oh my God, okay. Dude, that has to be the last bosses, right? Very good looty ooty ooty. I did not expect this many biome changes when I set, up, set forth in this crypt, right? <laughs> So now I'm on these like little floating islands. I'm having to do platforming. Wee! A little bit of fall dumage. And now, oh no, more? I have no more health pots, dude. All right. Maybe, just, oh, I see what you're about to do too, dude. Oh man, oh, and he teleported. For this arrogance, witness the might of the dark moon. Witness the might of the dark moon. Destroy these interlopers. Oh, here comes the big ads. Oh man, look at this troll. 
I'm really impressed with the uh, the amount of variety of the enemies so far. It has not gotten boring in that respect. Now I have two trolls on my face. This guy is dancing in the campfire, dancing in the bonfire. Kite a little bit, heal a little bit. This guy in the teleporting. Killed one of his ads there. Stunned again, where's my trinket? Let's kite, let's kite, let's heal, let's kite. <laughs> Done! And his ad instantly died this time, finally. What do we have here? Oh my god, is there more? <laughs> wow, this dungeon is huge! Or is this the exit? No! Why is that fair? Why is that fair? <laughs> Are you serious? Even more enemy types in this first dungeon. We're fighting skeletal warriors and pyromancers. Knockback effects now. Oh my god! Oh my god, the ads! The ads! <laughs> Wasn't worried. Wasn't worried at all. <laughs> Dude, these circular rooms are never good. I'm done wondering if this is gonna be the last boss. You know what I'm saying? Let's just go. <laughs> Flawless victory. Yeah, that guy's a little too strong for me. So at any time, you can teleport back to the main town here, talk to NPCs, turn in quests. So yeah, I failed trying to complete the Crypt of Horrors, but I think on my own time, I'm just gonna go ahead and hit the Dark Hollows just to get a change of scenery. Not that I really needed it because we went through a lot of different biomes in that last one here, right? Um, but there you go, a nice little look at Dungeons of Sundaria, you know? Oh, look at this guy. Really good enemy variety. Like I said, it feels like if you took like a, an MMO, stripped it down to just its bare elements, very few NPCs, very few quests, and really it's all about going into dungeons, killing enemies, getting their loot, and going into stronger dungeons and doing the same exact thing. If that's something that you're looking for, a dungeon crawling, hacking, hack and slash experience in third person, I gotta say Dungeons of Sundaria is not too bad, especially if you have some friends you can jump in here in multiplayer, um, because as a cleric, I had a few, look at this thing! <laughs> As a cleric, I had a few abilities that allowed me to heal and resurrect, obviously, or heal and resurrect other people. Obviously, that's no use when I'm by myself. Um, so if you have some friends, dude, jump on into Dungeons of Sundario. So now I'm gonna go ahead and, oh man, these kobolds are no joke. I like how they turn into stone. Much better than the screenshots lit on, guys. So there you go. My name is FG, bro, and I'm out.